Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to review my most recent doll and she is Pulip Soseiseki. She is the fourth Rosen Maiden doll created in the anime and she is my favorite character so I am super excited to have this review for all of you. I actually got her used for a very good price and I am going to tell you all the details at the end of the video. Now let's unbox this beautiful girl. So here is the box and I wanted to compare the old box from a pull-up doll and the newer box from a pull-up doll. So they also are different in sizes, the older version is smaller which I like a little bit more because it's better for storage and the material seems to be higher quality than the newer boxes. Well, she is not that new, but her box is kind of flimsy. Here is the front of So Seiseki's box. She has the color blue as her theme, and as you can see, it comes with a big display window, the Rosen Maiden second season logo, and the company logo. Something that I like from the older boxes is that they come with a beautiful picture of the doll and also the warnings and precautions and the official sticker. Here is the top and here is the bottom. I was taking her out of the box and I realized that she is packed in a very interesting way. So there is like a, this plastic piece that is making her actual like leg bend a little and I found that to be very uncomfortable and interesting at the same time. I don't really know if I like it though. One of the goodies that come inside of the box is her collector card. She looks adorable and I love this card. The second thing is her hat. She has this suede material hat. It is very soft and as you can see here at the top. It catches a lot of dust and dirt, so you need to clean it up. It also comes with her key and her fake plastic scissors that you can actually open and close. And here is So Seiseki looking all gorgeous. I totally love this doll. Let's talk about the face-up. Uh, she came with a very natural face-up. She also has no makeup on. But what she has is really beautiful. And she comes with these pink cheeks. Her lips are like this peachy color with a pink line in the middle. Her eyeliner is between black and brown. And she has like a pink color in her crease as you can see she has dark brown eyebrows and they are very beautiful and the iconic red and green eyes her eyeliner is brown right here and as always she can I am back with my thoughts in this beautiful, amazing doll. Like, she is the most beautiful one so far. I don't know why, but I, ugh, I just love her. I love her so much. 
So as always, I am going to start from head to feet and I am going to remove this so I can show you this wig. The older dolls wigs are very stiff, they get frizzy very easily, they are crunchy and they look kind of dry. But I am super happy right now because the last owner of this doll took a lot of care to this wig, like she is barely frizzy, it is in a very amazing condition and I am super thankful about it. So yeah, I definitely let it pass. Her wig color is this sort of like a brown orangey tone to it. It looks pretty orangey on camera, but it is, it is a little bit darker in real life. It is very accurate, the only problem is that it's too long. I think it should be around this long. So they need to remove all this section right at the bottom to make it more accurate. But the overall thing is really beautiful, I'm super happy and I'm sorry I keep doing this. I'm just trying to put the hair down. Well, her face up is very simple, very natural, very boyish and that's because in the anime she sees herself more as a boy rather than a girl so if you watch the anime you will hear that she calls herself a boku and that's sort of like a male pronoun in Japan the actual makeup is really beautiful I love the eyes they're super accurate and they look kind of fake to me they don't look very realistic but again this might be something that only the older dolls have that they do not look very realistic. Her outfit is amazing. It has this, uh, how do you pronounce it? I forgot. Suede material, like it is very soft. It's sort of like hairy material and it definitely catches a lot of dust and dirt. So you need to be cleaning it up a lot. It is sort of like a blue color, very super beautiful. Love, again, the lace details, super nice. And the outfit I think is four pieces because this piece right here, oh crap, you can't see it. This black piece right here is connected to the blue top right here and it removes by a hook that is in the back and there is the skirt. And then we have the shorts that are really beautiful, same material as this section right here, the white stockings really nice they are a little bit stained but that's something that happens a lot with this doll and we have the beautiful shoes they are brown <laughs> another thing be very very careful about this hat because a lot of people have come to the internet to say that this hat stains the, the doll so if you leave this hat like this for too long and if you remove it, you will find a black line around her forehead. So be very careful. I recommend you to put a plastic around her face if you want to put this on, okay? The stand, like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this stand. Look, 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 it's reflective. And it says, Pulip Rosen made in here. And it's reflective and it's made in metal, guys. This is literally something that I wish new dolls could come with because it is heavy so it provides a little bit of balance and oh my gosh it is made in metal guys metal so I definitely like these stands the older ones better than the new ones as I told you before I got this in a Japanese auction she is used for $50 I think she is the best deal ever and I am super happy that I got her for such a low price because she is truly worth it I love this character I love this anime a lot and I truly recommend it so if you have any question opinion or concern about so say Seki right here please leave them all in the comments below give me a like if you like this video don't forget to check other reviews that I have done in the past and please subscribe for more videos in the future see you in the next one bye